Okay guys, so in today's video we're going to talk about three potential centermen trade targets for the Montreal Canadiens. If they were to, you know, decide to part ways and forget about Jesperi Katganiemi. All three of these players are going to be under the age of 30. They all got some kind of trade buzz surrounding their names right now and none of them are named Jack Eichel or Marv Eichel. But first, before we begin, if you guys are a fan of the Habs, or you've ordered a bunch of takeout and had it delivered to Chris Kreider's house without him knowing, then please consider subscribing to my channel as I upload a ton of hockey content and would really enjoy having some more you grasshoppers tag along for the ride. Now, first up, I created a poll the other day asking all you whippersnappers out there, whether you think the Habs should match the Kakaniemi offer or not. And here are the results. We got them in, Regis. We had over 1,100 votes, and 84% of you guys said no, absolutely not Kaniemi. And the other 16% said yes. Yes, Kaniemi, we should match the Kakaniemi contract and keep him on board. So this video is kind of more directed at the 84% of you that decided against Four Finger Niemi because assuming you guys are thinking about, you know, finding another centerman to fill the gap that they're going to have, I'm going to name three guys. And we're going to have a look at their stats and their current contracts. And what I want you guys to do at the end of the video is just let me know which one of these guys you see as a fit as a true trade target right now. And if none of these guys are knocking your socks off, then let me know if there's anybody else out there that could be a potential trade target. So, first up on the list, we got the only guy in the NHL that has a name that rhymes with Squirtle. <laughs> and of course, I'm talking about the San Jose centerman, Thomas Hurdle. Let me try and sell him to you. Hurdle is 27 years old, he's from the Czech Republic, and he's just coming off an impressive season, which he managed to get 43 points in 50 games. In 2018-2019, the guy had the best year of his career, when he put up 35 goals and 49 assists for 74 points. The guy was on fire. And apparently with all the madness that's been going on in San Jose over the past little while, not mentioning any canes, oops, Hurdle is a guy that could very well be on his way out. Now looking at his contract, Squirtle is making $5.6 million this year, and then this is the last year of that contract, meaning you'd almost need to have this guy coming over here and signing a contract ASAP and making sure that he doesn't hit free agency at the end of the year. Otherwise, it just wouldn't really make any sense now, would it? As for how much Thomas Hurdle would be worth, <sighs> at 27 years old and a guy that's entering the prime of his career, he wouldn't be cheap. I mean, you're not going to get him for a big bag of Humpty Dumpty potato chips, boys. I'll tell you that. Moving on, second on the list. We've got a guy that's been talked about by just about everybody. And that guy is Christian Dvorak. Dvorak must be walking around with a lot of swagger these days because everybody wants him. And why wouldn't they? This guy has a really nice contract, which we're going to take a look at in a second. But settle down. First, we're going to get these stats out of the way. If you get on YouTube and you look at some of this guy's highlights, one thing you're going to notice is he's got a wicked release. Now, he's never hit the 20 goal mark yet. But if there was a full season last year, he most definitely would have hit that. At just 25 years old, Dvorak is listed as a two-way center, and if you give him the right wingers, his numbers, they're going to go up. I'm sure of it. Now let's take a look at his cap hit. Christian Adol, Dvoradol, is making $4.45 million this season, right up until 2025. And I mean, if this guy can keep potting goals like he's been doing, which is likely to happen, that's a wicked salary for that kind of production. Just saying. And this guy has been on the trading block now for quite a while, apparently, as Arizona seems to kind of be all over the place. They don't know their heads from their asses anymore. So the fact that this guy hasn't been moved yet tells me one of two things. Either A, teams are waiting to see what the hell happens to Jack Eichel first, or B, Arizona is just asking for way too much. And it could also be a combo of both of these things. Now, behind door number three. And this one is the loose cannon of the group. The Ozzy Osbourne of the bunch. 
And I'm talking about the Birdman, Evgeny Kuznetsov. And this guy, let me tell you, when he's not testing positive for COVID-19, he's testing positive for cocaine, which we'll get to later. Kuznetsov just turned 29 years old in May. And what can you say? The guy's had some pretty good numbers throughout the years. His career high was 83 points in 2017. And now a lot of people are going to say he raked up a lot of points playing alongside guys like Alexander Ovechkin over the years. But I mean, just imagine what he can do with Ben Sherratt on his blue line, huh? Magic is waiting to happen. You know what? I'm just kidding. I'm sorry, Ben Sherratt. I've been a little rough on you. Kuznetsov has a cap hit of $7.8 million right now. Up until the end of the 2024-2025 season. And according to reports, the Capitals are they're just getting tired of his shit. Which is why he could find himself playing for another team soon. Good old Frankie Saravalli reported that quote. Simply put, the Caps are tired of Kuznetsov's antics. From being one of the only NHL players to test positive for COVID-19 twice this season to his four-year suspension from international hockey after testing positive for doing some of the devil's dandruff. The time is right for change. Kuznetsov is unquestionably a talented player. See his Conn Smythe-worthy playoff run in 2018, but an inconsistent one. His contract will be difficult to move, but perhaps less so after the Caps pay his $5 million signing bonus due in July, which is already gone past. So there you have it. Three gerbils that are potentially trade targets for the Habs. Who knows? That is, of course, if they don't match the offer for Yusperi Kakaniemi. And let me tell you, if you're asking me, I'm not a fan of any of these guys. I don't know why, but I don't want any of that shit. I'm not happy right now. I'm just rolling around here in discomfort. My ass is chapped. Anyway, guys, tell me what you think. Does any of these names float your boat? Or is there somebody else you got in mind, huh? If so, let me know down there in the dirty rotten comment section and I'll see you next time.